The appearance of Velociraptor in Jurassic Park and its sequels thrust it into becoming one of the most popular dinosaurs. Of course, Velociraptor and the other raptors, properly called Dromaeosaurids, looked very different from their appearance in the movies. However, there was another reptile who was reminiscent of them, in some ways more than the Dromaeosaurids themselves. Named Poposaurus, its fossils are from the Chinle Formation, which was formed in what is now Western North America during the Late Triassic Period. While it was once mistaken for a dinosaur, Poposaurus was a Pseudosuchian, meaning it was more closely related to crocodilians than to dinosaurs. When this crocodilian raptor was alive, true dinosaurs had just evolved, and they were still the underdogs to Poposaurus and its fellow Pseudosuchians. While many other Pseudosuchians looked similar to the later dinosaurs, Poposaurus was perhaps the most extreme dinosaur look-alike. Between several different skeletons, almost all of Poposaurus's body is accounted for, although the skull is still only known from a few fragments. The Poposaurus genus consists of two species, Poposaurus gracilis and Poposaurus langstoni. Poposaurus gracilis was about four and a half meters long. Poposaurus langstoni was a bit larger, about five meters long, longer than the Jurassic Park raptors. However, most of this length was taken up by its unusual tail. Therefore, Poposaurus would have filled the niche of a medium-sized predator, while the larger Rawasuchids, like Postosuchus, were the apex predators. Because Poposaurus's legs were shorter than most theropods, it was only about one meter tall, half the height of its Jurassic Park lookalikes. Despite this, there is no doubt that it was a biped. Examination of the muscle scars on Poposaurus's leg bones have found that the muscles responsible for the back and forth movement were the strongest, a trait typical of bipedal animals. Furthermore, its hind limbs were still twice the length of the forelimbs. While its feet lacked the famous sickle claws of the Dromaeosaurids, they were still very similar to the feet of theropods. As long as Poposaurus's small first digit didn't touch the ground, it wouldn't be hard for its footprints to be mistaken for those of dinosaurs. The main difference between them is that Poposaurus would have had a shorter stride distance due to its shorter legs. Poposaurus's neck was also long by Pseudosuchian standards, closer to those of theropods. On the other hand, the crocodilian raptor's tail was odd compared to those of both theropods and most other Pseudosuchians. Theropod tails gradually shrink as they extend from the body. In Poposaurus, its tail simply keeps going long after becoming very thin. Additionally, the spinous processes at the base of its tail don't shrink along with its vertebrae, and at one point even grow taller. Then, the spinous processes shrink rather abruptly. The exact purpose of this odd tail is unclear. The base of the tail might have served as some sort of hump to store nutrients. Alternatively, Poposaurus's odd tail may have been the result of sexual selection. It may have been brightly colored or used in elaborate dances to attract mates. While most of Poposaurus's skull has yet to be found, a few jaw fragments have sharp, recurved teeth, confirming it was a predator. Combined with the skulls of its close relatives, it seems its skull would have looked very much like what one would expect from a theropod dinosaur. While Poposaurus is often called a theropod mimic, it lived not long after the theropods had first evolved. It is therefore entirely possible that Poposaurus's theropod-like ancestors evolved before the actual theropods. Most of their similarities were the result of convergent evolution, while a few were inherited from the first archosaurs. Poposaurus is the namesake of the clade Poposauroidae. The members of this clade are varied, 
and include a few oddballs like Quianosuchus and Lotosaurus. While Poposaurus is not really representative of any other Poposauroid, it does bridge the gap between two very different groups within it. Most early Poposauroids were Tenosauriscids. Tenosauriscids were quadrupedal predators with sailed backs. It is possible that Poposaurus's tall, spinous processes at the base of its tail are remnants of these sails. The other major Poposauroid clade is Chuvosauridae. They lacked any remnants of sails, and, like Poposaurus, were bipeds. However, the Chuvosaurids were herbivores with toothless beaks instead of teeth. In phylogenetic analyses, Poposaurus is found to be between the two clades, and it likely represents how the transition from Tenosaurisca-like Poposauroids to the Shuvosaurids took place. Poposaurus's closest living relatives, crocodilians, grow very slowly due to their low metabolisms. However, examination of Poposaurus's internal bone histology has found signs of faster growth. This would have required a high metabolism more typical of dinosaurs than crocodilians. Unlike some of its other theropod-like characteristics, convergent evolution was not the culprit of the crocodilian raptor's high metabolism. Archosaurs like Poposaurus and the dinosaurs originally had a high metabolism. While the ancestors of the crocodilians eventually returned to a lower metabolism, more like that of most other reptiles, Poposaurus evolved long before this happened. Right now, only the growth rings of an immature Poposaurus specimen have been examined, so it is not certain how long it took it to reach its full size. Assuming the growth rings were each laid out during a single year, the animal would have been seven years old when it died. Poposaurus was an amazing creature. While modern crocodilians may be cold-blooded and tied to the water, Poposaurus shows just how active and dinosaur-like many of their distant relatives once were. Its superficially dinosaur-like appearance is simply the cherry on top. It also serves as one of the starkest cases of convergent evolution, and is an example of just how diverse and strange the world was during the Triassic period. Thank you for watching. Also, a thank you to Dominic Panetta for making art of Poposaurus specifically for this video. If you would like to see more of his art, be sure to check out his website. There is a link to it in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Finally, be sure to have a great day.